Hey, hello Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this very rainy Tuesday. How are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below how is this Tuesday treating you. And girl, today I have some sweet, sweet tea for you, which honestly it's very unsweet tea. Um, and we're talking about Southern Charm, okay? Because the new season is on its way and apparently there are changes and I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to expect when I give you this news. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thanks bottom right here. And let's talk about this mess. Hey, yo, Mio. No. My friend, my son, and my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Can Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> Better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people of Liquid IV. Liquid IV, it's all about hydration. So if you are into working out, walking, running, jogging, hiking, whatever you are doing that you are losing water and electrolytes, this is for you. Liquid IV will hydrate you twice as fast as water. Super convenient little packs that you can take anywhere. They have all these amazing flavors, green apple, wild berry, lemon, lime. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. So if you want to get your liquid IV, make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and use my discount code Shademan Empire and you will get 20% off plus free shipping. So what are you waiting for? Go and get your liquid IV right now. Welcome back everyone. How are you guys? And it is time to talk about Southern Charm. As you know, uh, new season is coming. Yes, the show is not going anywhere. Okay. Last season, I mean, look, I'm going to be, I love my guys from Southern Charm. I love all of, well, almost all of them. But I have to say that there is something going on on Southern Charm, on Charleston, that I am not quite fun, you know. And I think last season, it was all about uh, Naomi Olindo and Madison LeCroix and uh, this other girl. What is the name of this other girl that I cannot stand? I think also it's Madison. I don't know. This other girl who used to um, or, or works for, you know, the store where Catherine used to work. I cannot stand that girl. Like she is right there with um, what was the name of these people? Her, Ashley and... Uh, what was it? I mean, very, very annoying people from Southern Charm. Like, I, I, I don't like them. You know, they, I don't trust them. I think they are there to cause trouble and I don't quite connect with them, you know. Um, a lot of people have not been connecting too much with Leva, Leva Bonaparte, you know. And she definitely kind of like took a back seat last season, but I think it had a lot to do with you know, uh, the filming of uh, her new show, Southern Hospitality. Now, is she going to come back or not? That's the part that we don't know because she, I mean, she does have a lot of influence in Charleston, especially if you start watching her new show, Southern Hospitality, which by the way, I recommend, you know, I start watching it. It's really, really good. It's finally, finally giving those Vanderpump Rules vibes, you know? So um, I really, really like it. Um, so if you really start watching that show, you will see that Leva actually has a lot of connections in Charleston, you know. But for some reason, she does not connect with the cast of Southern Charm, you know. And I feel that it's because they are already like an established group. Now, the thing is, they are really trying to break some patterns when it comes to Southern Charm, you know. Of course, they are diversifying. You will, you will, you already saw the addition of Benita and Clev Ravenel, which, by the way, Clev Ravenel apparently is not continuing. Like that guy is gone. Which honestly, I never really trust him. Benita, on the other side, I love, love, love me some Benita. You know, I think she's funny. I think she is uh, a beautiful woman. You know, and I think she is learning 
to, you know, stand, you know, by herself. You know, I, I think she, when she did the, her first appearances on last, last season, it was very much like, you know, the lap dog of that group. You know, this season is more like, bitch, I, here I am, I'm staying, you better, you know, learn to deal with me. And I think I really like that part of Benita. Um, I'm hoping that we get more people like that. Olivia Flowers apparently is also continuing, although she's not in a relationship with Austin Crawl anymore. And of course we have our uh, usuals, Shep Rose, Craig Conover, and uh, Austin Crawl, and um, Whitney, you know, that they're still gonna be part of the show. That's what we're hearing so far. However, nothing is official. Now, the news that we have, the tea that we have coming from Southern Charm is that there are all these rumors going around that Catherine Dennis might not return to the next season of Southern Charm. Yep. And I have to say, I hope this is not true, okay? I know some of you are not very fond of Miss Dennis, you know, and I know that she has shared, you know, her good portion of craziness on this show, but she's also the one who has been creating this show, okay? She's the one who has been giving us the really WTF moments, season after season after season. However, coming back from everything that happened, you know, and the, and the racist scandal, it's gonna be very hard, even though she has the support of, you know, uh, Venita and even Leva Bonaparte, even though they end up like fighting again, you know, and like uh, so many people has come to, you know, around her saying like, no, she is not racist, she is not racist. Uh, and she actually, you know, uh, apologized and, and owned the situation and, and did the whole thing. A lot of people have not forgiven her for her thinking that it was, you know, uh, taking it too far. Now, last season, she actually didn't appear too much, you know, and she also kind of like take the back seat, which is very weird for uh, Miss Catherine. Like she gave us great moments, you know, like you're a petty bitch, you know, little petty bitch. No, what was the thing? Uh, little, little petty bitch. Whatever, I think I, that I love that moment, you know? And she gave us another moment during the season, but eventually she was not there. Now the rumors were that some of the other cast members didn't want to film with her. And apparently the only friends that she has is Craig Conover and Shep Rose, you know? So if, and then we have a whole other group who really doesn't have any connection with Catherine Janis anymore. Look, I don't know. I think, I mean, they're shifting a lot, you know, and I don't know if their goal is eventually just like drop everyone and just bring a new group. I don't know if it's going to work, to be honest. I think that the show needs Catherine Dennis uh, because all, the, all of the other people, you know, they just, I don't know if they're bringing it enough, you know, and Catherine Dennis, you can tell, you can tell that she is the one who bring the stupid drama that we love, but it's actually really good drama, you know? So, I don't know. Let's see how it's gonna happen. Now, it, it is just a rumor. There is no confirmation. I reached out to Catherine. I have not heard anything from her. I reached out to like Bravo. Of course, they're not gonna say anything. So we're just still waiting to see what is gonna happen, but I'm hoping that it is not true. Let's wait and see. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.